Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be discussing about the reporting in the subscription module of Odoo 16. The subscription reporting actually includes four things, which are the retention analysis, subscription analysis, sales person dashboard, and revenue KPIs. These features, you can easily analyze the subscriptions and revenues generated through Odoo. Odo 16 is the best software for y'all to manage your subscription. So without wasting any time, let's move forward to the subscription module and see the reporting feature. First, let's open the subscription module. So here I'm opening the module and here you can see the menu called the reporting. So in subscription module, you can view the analysis of various fields such as the subscriptions, retention, revenue KPIs and salesperson dashboard. So we'll do one thing, we'll go through each of these menus and see what all these things are providing us. Okay, so the first thing is the subscriptions. So I'm opening the subscriptions and here you can see the subscription analysis. So here the subscriptions, it actually gives a view of the analysis of subscriptions you've made so far. Okay, so you have three kinds of views. Currently we are seeing the pivot view. We have the graph view. This is the graph view and we also have the cohort view. So three kinds of views are available inside the subscription analysis. Now if you take a look at the pivot view here, you have the total section here and here you have the monthly recurring revenue. So that's the measure which is currently enabled. If you just click on the measures here, you can see monthly recurring revenue, quantity, recurring amount and also yearly recurring revenue. And along with that you have the count also. So I'll enable each one and show. Here you can see quantity has been added. Now here you have the recurring amount, here you have the year, yearly recurring revenue and also you can add count to it. That is according to your need, you can, you know, enable the measures. Okay. So with the help of all these measures, you can have a clear picture of the subscription analysis. Okay. So you have the option to flip the axis. Okay. You can easily flip the axis and you can expand the subscription analysis. That is, you can expand the table. And also you have the option to download the Excel axis of this subscription analysis. Okay. Now, if you want to insert this into a spreadsheet, you can simply click on insert in spreadsheet. Okay. Now from here, you can choose to which spreadsheet you are going to insert this. So you have a blank spreadsheet, an untitled one or previously created ones. So if I'm choosing a blank spreadsheet, you can click on confirm here. Okay. As you can see, new spreadsheet created in documents. And here, the subscription analysis table is being added to a spreadsheet. So this is how you add that particular table into a spreadsheet. Now let's go back to the subscriptions analysis. Okay. And here you have the filters group by and favorites option. So let's see what the filters in group by are providing us. Here under filters, you have the my subscription ones. So which will show only your subscription. And you can see the recurring ones the non-recurring ones, running ones, to renew expired subscriptions. So these are the expired subscription, subscriptions which are in good health as well as bad health. And you can also filter it based on order date, end date and also you can add custom filter towards the subscription analysis. Then you have group by, okay. So inside group by you can group it based on stage, Okay, as you can see, the stages are here in progress and closed. So currently it's grouped based on stage and you have the option to group it based on salesperson. Okay, so it's uh, filtered, I mean grouped based on salesperson, which is Michelle Edmund. And then you have the option to group it based on customer, country, industry, template, and also you can group it based on order date. Now you also have the option to add custom group here in the group by option. And then you have the favorite section where you have the save current search, link menu in spreadsheet, insert view in article, which is to insert the view or link in the knowledge module. That is an article which is in the knowledge module. And also you can add it to your dashboard. Okay. So these are the main things which comes under the pivot view of subscription analysis. Now let's move on to the graph view. Okay, so this is the graph view. You can see the bar chart here. So here you have the subscription template and based on the template, it's showing the graph. Okay, so this is the monthly recurring revenue. If you take a look at the measures, you can see monthly recurring, I mean, recurring revenue is being enabled. 
Now, if you want to view it based on quantity, you can view that. You have the recurring amount as well as the yearly recurring revenue. Now, the same thing can be viewed in line chart as well as pie chart. So, talking about the line chart and bar chart, there you have the option to view it in descending as well as ascending order. And then you have a stack view as well as the cumulative view. And here you have the same filter group by and all. Then we have the cohort view. Okay, so this is the cohort view. Here also you can apply the measures. Okay, so you can see end by, I mean end date by month. Okay, and here you have the count and your order date. Okay, so everything is given in detail in the subscription analysis. So that's all about the subscription analysis. So the next thing which comes under the reporting is the retention analysis or simply the retention. So I'm opening the retention. It is very important to maintain customers. Okay. So here we have retention analysis. So for retention analysis, you have three views. One is the cohort view. Then you have the graph view and also the pivot view. Same as the subscription analysis. Okay. So let's see the measures under the retention. So you can see the same measures which you have seen in the subscription analysis in retention analysis also. Okay. So this is the cohort view. Okay. So in the cohort view, you can see the order date as well as the count. And if you want to view it based on a day, week, month or year, that is possible here. Now you have the option to download the Excel file of the retention analysis. Here you have only filters. Okay. You don't have group by options here in the retention analysis cohort view. Okay. So you have the recurring ones, non-recurring ones, running ones, to renew, expired, good health, bad health, order date, end date, and also you can add custom filter. So these filters are same as the subscription ones. Okay. Then we have the graph view. So this is the graph view. Here also we have those uh, four measures which we saw in subscriptions. Okay, you have the line chart here, pie chart. Okay, and this is the bar chart. Okay, so here you have the group by options. So you have the option to group by stage, salesperson, customer, country, industry, template, order date, end date, and also add custom group. Now we have the pivot view here. You can flip access from here. And the only measure which is added is monthly recurring revenue. So you can click on the measures and add the measures which you want to add. Then you have the insert and spreadsheet, flip axis, expand and also import XLSX. Okay. So that's the retention analysis. Now, if you go to the reporting menu, you have the revenue KPIs. So a business always want to generate some sort of subscription income. Therefore, it's critical to access whether this goal has been met. Okay, so Odo 16 subscription module gives you a very detailed analysis of all the revenue key performance indicators, which is shortened as KPI. So that's what revenue KPI stands for, revenue key performance indicators. Okay, so you can view all the subscription based revenue details separately in the revenue KPIs. Okay, so here you can see the monthly recurring revenue, net revenue, non recurring revenue lifetime value, annual run rate, revenue per subscription, customer churn, then the revenue churn, the subscriptions and so on. Okay. So here you have a filter. It's from April 1 to April 30. You have the subscription plans here. You can choose that from here. That is either monthly, yearly or even multi-line template. Then you have the companies. Okay. So which all companies you are including in this filter, you can add it here. The sales team can be taken and also you can update it. So an updated revenue will be shown here. So let's add the subscription plan to monthly. Company I'm adding it is, let it be my company itself. Now let's add the sales team. I'm adding sales and click on update. So there's a change, right? So based on whatever filter you give, this revenue KPI will be updated. Okay. So that's the revenue KPIs. Okay. And finally, under the reporting, you have the salesperson dashboard. Okay. So here you may choose the check salesperson uh, dashboard option from the reporting page to see each salesperson reports and their share of the sales income. Okay, that is the subscriptions income. Now here you can see the option to print the preview. Now here you have Michelle Edmund. Michelle Edmund's monthly recurring revenue is this much and you have the non-recurring revenue. 
ओके नाइन यू कैन सी द न्यू एम आर आर द चर्न एम आर आर एक्सपेंशन एम आर आर डाउन एम आर आर न्यू नेट एम आर आर एंड देन द एन आर आर सो हियर यू हैव द सब्सक्रिप्शन मॉडिफिकेशन द डेट पार्टनर सब्सक्रिप्शन टेम्पलेट प्रीवियस एम आर आर करेंट एम आर आर एंड ऑल्सो द डेल्टा दैट इज सब्सक्रिप्शन मॉडिफिकेशन एग्रीगेट ऑल मॉडिफिकेशन दैट हैपन इन सेलेक्टेड पीरियड नो दैट मॉडिफिकेशन हैपन ऑन द सेम डे कैन बी ग्रुप टूगेदर ओके नाउ हियर यू कैन सी द नॉन रिकरिंग इन वॉइसिस ओके नाउ हियर यू हैव द ऑप्शन टू प्रिंट द प्रिव्यू लेट सी आई क्लिक ऑन द प्रिंट प्रिव्यू here also you have the option to add filters okay so currently we are like taking the preview of michelle ekman so you can easily change it from here okay so that is printed here as you can see this is the preview which is printed so these are the four different sections of the reporting i hope it's clear for you thank you so much for watching see you in the next video